name is Gabby and this is Kosi and Gabby. So obviously we have been missing for about two weeks. Some of our friends were like, hey, what the video? What going on? Where is it? 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 We're really happy that you know you guys realized that we were missing. But we had some things going on, so everything is going great now for yeah. the most part. So we are back and we are ready to, you know, put out some more content. So today's video is going to be a video on things we learned in our 20s slash still learning. Mm -hmm. So I know for most of us, or myself I should say, when I think about my 20s, I think about having fun, I think about getting married, getting a big house, a car, a this and that, and then reality hitting. The thing that you plan to actually come true. That's true. Have you ever had a dream that that you um you had you 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 could you do? And in my 20s, it, it taught me a lot of things. So these are five things that we learned in our 20s still learning because we're still young you know at the time of this recording Kosi is 25 and I am 23 right so we are just starting off this whole experience and we learned a couple of things so number one budgeting and saving I wish I knew these even before hitting 20 actually yeah. because it is so important to Very. know how to properly budget and to save mm -hmm. so before you know you get a little job and stuff like that so you you want to spend everything yeah. and that was me i never used to save i used to buy anything that i want to buy and not putting stuff away for the future even though i'm still young i find i learned that too late in the game so oh. now and even gabby had yeah. to tell me this um as well budgeting and not just budgeting and just putting money here money and there management. or managing the money properly mm -hmm. and i still i still have to learn this yeah. but i think for the most part i have it somewhat down pack even yeah. though um it could be better getting better and better. We're getting, we're getting better yeah 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 they have two kind of adults i would say when you know you reach your 20s some people still live with their parents or still rely on their parents for certain things while others kind of on their own with certain things right so if your parent giving you money on a daily basis you can still you can still save that or no that could go towards your future right it don't have to be a thousand dollars a month because you're not working something but realistic yeah something realistic like if you get a little change dollars a month from your parents you don't have to use all of that for yourself, you know? Save. You can save little by little and it will definitely grow. When you start saving younger, it'll be you'll be even more disciplined when you get older. It's true. It'll be like it'll be easy. Yeah, and when you're working, you know it's very important to have yourself a credit union and stuff like that. You know, things that you can invest in and things that you know for a fact when a couple of years um, goes by you have something to look back on and you and have something to, on. to fall back on like an emergency emergency because going to a party is not emergency no. <laughs> buying right? a dress buying a dress is not emergency it's not emergency and we're not saying that you can't you know enjoy no you have to you have to enjoy what you look for but at the same for. time do let me talk to myself closely at the same time don't be stupid yeah, <laughs> you know don't yeah. be um just spending money mm -hmm. unnecessarily and when the end of the month come you don't know what to do. Ladies, maybe get a word? Hide the money, y'all. There's poor people around. <laughs> if you're not as disciplined as you think that you want to be, um, it's very important to have maybe a standing order in your bank. So if you get paid or something like that, your money goes directly into your credit union or directly into a place where you know that, you know, yeah. it will stay there and you don't particularly have to physically take your money and put it in. Every month, you know for a fact that Five hundred dollars disappearing out of your account, but you know exactly where it is, and you know when an emergency comes about, or when something important like school, or like a house, or a car, whatever you. Or a rainy day. Yeah. Because a parking that's rainy from that day every single day. Every single day, day raining. Everything is money. I would say most, but some people would say some relationships just would not last. To say it, I hope I don't sound ridiculous. I don't know who this man is. I mean, he could be walking down the street. I wouldn't, I wouldn't know a thing. Sorry to this man. 
So the person that you are when you are a teenager is different from the person that you are when you reach in your 20s. Learn new things, you want new things. So sometimes the relationship that you have will not stand the test of time. It's just that's just what happens, right? But it's okay because everybody that you come in contact with, you learn something from them, you take something from them through your life journey. So it could be a, a boyfriend, a girlfriend, it could be a friend, it could be a best friend that you wanted to keep for the rest of your life. Yeah. But it just doesn't work like that. And that's okay, you know? People are here for sometimes a season and you shouldn't take it as, oh my gosh, they're gone. It's okay to be sad, but definitely try to take the lessons that they taught you good or bad because some people are scared doing the most yo wow you understand what i'm saying <laughs> take what they teach you good or bad and take it throughout your life yeah. from my experience i the friends i have now are the friends i had since i was like yeah yeah so mm -hmm. only a couple you know fell on the way but i definitely understand what home girl say yeah. Self care yes. is key. Self care is key. So this is the time of our lives when we free. We free. We can eat what we want. We can eat what we want. <laughs> we can do what we want. We can do what we want. <laughs> but it, it's not like that, right? You have to take care of yourself. Try to exercise on time. Oh wow. Try to eat on time. And I'm not even talking to you right now. This is a message to me. <laughs> when you're young. Um, you think they're invincible, so you, like I say, you can eat what you want, yeah. you can drink what you want, you cannot exercise, you can, you're not taking care of your mental, which is very important. Mm. And then when you get older, and these things start to affect you, like I think self care starts at a very mm. young age, maybe mm. before your twenties, earlier, early, like yeah, because when that metabolism starts slowing down, and you realize that where you were supposed to have muscles, you didn't have it no more, and when you're walking upstairs. Two steps, you know. Two steps. You reason. You don't have to be the fittest person. You don't have to go hard. Your health is definitely your wealth, and you have to pay attention because if you're sick, what money you gonna make? How are you gonna build your house? How are you gonna stay focused on school? And when we say self care, we don't. We, we're not only talking about the physical part of of health care. Yeah. We will be talking about the mental, the spiritual, the emotional. We don't want to think about those stuff. When it start affecting you, I yeah. target them before. Mm -hmm. Affirmations. Definitely try and say nice stuff to yourself because you know you have to depend on yourself sometimes for words of encouragement, words of motivation. It's good to have somebody here, you know, saying, Yeah, Gabby, you can do this, whatever, whatever. But if you don't believe in yourself, it probably wouldn't happen, right? So say, Okay, yeah, you're looking good today. Yeah, you're smart. You can definitely do this. Say this stuff for yourself and you will see that your life completely change. Your outlook on life will completely change. Time management. Listen, I'm the queen of procrastinating. Putting things off until it's like, even like in school, like even for like assignments, I used to wait last minute to do my assignments. Yeah, same. Um, and then stress my own self out because mm -hmm. I want to do things two, three, four days before the um, due date mm -hmm. every day. Yeah. I want to clean up my room. Yeah. And I'll wait until tomorrow to do that. I want to, you know, yeah. little stuff. Major stuff, I I just get on top of it one time because yeah. I know for a fact, especially for me, hmm. when I get stressed out, I just get emotional and yeah. I just want to cry. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so yep. if I don't um, do my stuff early, it will affect me later. The last thing that we learned in our twenties is to have fun. fun. Please have fun. Like this is the time where you are the most free. This is the time where you are youthful. You are, you know, vibrant, and you're able to kind of stretch yourself. You go places, enjoy your life, and enjoy and your friends. Enjoy your friends. Do the things that you want to do because when you get older at a particular age you know you kind of slow down and you're not able to go out you want to sleep early or kind of thing well, I, like, prob I probably want that now because <laughs> i want to sleep early yeah i want to sleep early too focus on school focus on work and build the life that you want to have but when you look back and you you think okay i was spending all of this time studying you know i was spending the majority of my time working on something um a particular and you have goal, no time for fun and you have no time for fun you have no time for friends um, you've never been to places in your country, stuff like that. Like 
you should be able to go and to enjoy yourself and to look back and say wow I made these memories with my friends and I have these memories to take throughout my life so yeah so I remember when I was um like in my early teenage stage I was telling myself when I become an adult I want to do this I want to do that I want to go here I want to go there and everywhere and I'm so glad I have this stage where I can actually do the things that I want to do. I want to have fun. Mm -hmm. If I want to go to the beach, I mean it's locked down now, but when it was open, yeah. if I want to go to the beach, I can just go to the beach myself. If just I want to go to a home. restaurant, I want to. I can go. If I want to go to the mall, wherever, I, I have the yeah. the time. I can do that right now because you know I don't really have much to do. I actually want to do it. I want to yeah. have fun. I want to go with my friends, I want to make memories and I think this is the time where you can do it and you can look back and say hey, me and Gabby actually do this or yeah. me and Gabby actually went here and me and my friends did these things and shout out to our friends, our friends like if you want to do something, 9 times out of 10, they Them don't down, yeah. so definitely group yourself with people who are not going to be like yeah let me go here and when it's time to go here you know you don't get them yeah I will, I will let you know I will let you know and oh no. Just out. Just out. <laughs> but seriously, yeah, so like, the friends that we have, they yeah, don't do whatever. Down to do whatever. And that is the kind of energy I want in my 20s. Mm -hmm. I don't want to be stressing. I mean, life is stressful, just stress, uh, you know, stressful at times. Mm -hmm. But when it's time to have fun, I don't want to be worried about anything else. And yeah. at this age, it's definitely the right age to get yeah. stuff done mm -hmm. and we actually doing it. So, yeah. So, um, before we made this video, we asked our friends and some older people as well their experiences in their 20s. Okay, so one of our friends, he stated that basically there are different ways of achieving different goals, right? A lot of times we would say that, okay, they have a traditional way of, of doing things and what I really appreciate about our generation is we are very progressive in our thinking, right? Sometimes the traditional way, it will get you to success, but there are different ways to, to, to get to achieve the same, to thing. Achieve, yeah, yeah. Yeah, same goal. So an unorthodox way of doing things will be able to get you to success. Think about the different avenues you can take to get to where you want to be. It don't have to be traditional. You don't have to follow the crowd. You don't have to do the things that everybody say that you have to do. If you ain't do it, you can't get that. No, 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 no. That's not how this works these days. There are particular ways to get where you want to be without necessarily doing these traditional things. Everybody have degrees. Yeah. Everybody have the same thing. So what what you have that is different? What makes you stand out? Yeah, yeah. and sometimes, you have to go a different route to mm. get where you want to get and yeah. I basically what it is and I definitely agree with him mm. so another friend said that your education, your experiences and your achievements will not leave you mm. people will leave you and disappoint you and stuff like that mm -hmm. but what you achieve for yourself yeah. you can those things they cannot, they can't leave you yeah. you know you actually gain for yourself and nobody can take that away from you yeah you'll so, always have your achievements you'll always have the things that you work really hard for and you can always fall back on that so another friend of mine of ours said i wish i knew in my 20s to never introduce my boyfriend to your friends always keep them separate your partner and your friends are not friends unless you met him or her through mutual friends wow yeah, agreed. I think, hmm. and I guess it's up to the person, now. Huh? Some people like to, um, you know, when they're in a relationship, show off the person and stuff like that. You do you boo. Um, <laughs> some of us don't like to do that. Um, yeah. So yeah, it's up to you. And it's up to the connection that you have. If you think that that is a, you know, a strong connection and you want to, you know, show the world, you want to introduce them to your friends and your family, that's okay. But we are not relationships experts at all but you know for <laughs> us we would not you know show our the our significant other to our family friends unless we know that is solid or unless you know at least a very very long time past just just to be safe you know so you wouldn't kind of introduce somebody and then they're asking you hey what that person is first of all we done <laughs> <laughs> <Let's start there. laughs> we done last week you know like give yourself some time 
she also said that importance of saving and we, we touched on we touch that on in the beginning, right? Yeah, so in the beginning. In the beginning. In the beginning. In the in the beginning. In the beginning. In the beginning. Right, she said, um, once you have, well, saving, once you have one, it makes you more independent and confident whenever you have an emergency. Mm -hmm. You don't need to ask anyone for anything. Yeah. And I definitely agree with this. I think we all 100%. agree on this. Mm -hmm. Having your own saving, having your own, having your own. Yeah, it gives you freedom, you know? yeah. it gives you freedom. I also wish I wasn't gullible in my past relationship and had recognized red flags. No, if you see something that you don't like, the saying goes, when someone shows you who they are, believe them the first time. Yeah. You know, so people deserve second chances sometimes, but um, it's very important to just see, okay, cool. If this person know what I like and I tell them that, you know, I don't like this, I don't like that, I, I'm not comfortable with this and you're still doing it, that shows you that the person don't respect you and don't respect the things that you are comfortable with. Yeah. I think we all have to go through that stage in some sometime in your life. Yeah. So one of our friends, she stated that basically our parents did the best that they could with the things that they had. But when you reach your 20s and you realize, you wait understand, now, yeah. this was mommy was trying to, you know, protect me from certain people from certain things is like from yourself from yourself <laughs> from yourself you know just cut them some slack because some parents you know are a little difficult huh? yeah but other parents for the majority they just want the best for you and sometimes it's not done correctly or in the best way but for them that is the best way for them so kind of cut them some slack because they tend to block a lot of bad things that could happen to you and they tend to protect you so you know be easy on them um you make a lot of mistakes when you are in your 20s yeah. which i agree that this age this is a lot of trial and error yeah you're trying yeah, yeah. to learn the things that will be best for your situation right and i and i feel just because you reach a certain age doesn't mean you know everything at once even at the state that i am right now i still trying to figure out life we made mistakes, we learned from them, and I'm sure yeah. when we reach like 30, whatever, we will still be making mistakes, but mm -hmm. it's life is always a growing experience. Enjoy being young and free and vibrant. Yeah. Um, don't rush it. Take it as it goes. Take your time and you'll get there. Mm -hmm. Okay, and our very last point, this is one of our close uh, friends, well, she's basically family, family at this point. Um, she told me her, her life story, but a small part of her life story, um, she got married at a young age, she had children in her 20s and stuff like that, and she had a wonderful marriage. She had somebody who was on the same page with her. We have to understand as adults, and this is very important, everybody's situation is not the same i'm not the same person as you so the things that will be okay with you and the things that will work out for you will not necessarily work out for me we should not judge each other as adults because that person could be going through a totally different situation than you or that person mindset could be so elevated than you so this person you know could have gotten married at a young age and i am not even ready or mature enough to have a marriage so or a relationship or, or a relationship <laughs> try to understand people where they are yeah. you know so i really appreciated her story i really appreciated what she had to say we still have a lot of things to learn we have a lot of things to look forward to a lot of experiences to experience <laughs> so i think you should experience it you always say i want to experience things but i don't think you actually want to experience things because you would experience it if you wanted to experience things i don't know what you're talking about life's a journey mm -hmm. <laughs> and we will see where life takes us yeah you know and if you have any experience that you know that you learned or still learning let us know down in the comment section yeah. um let me have some dialogue you know how it does go in the comment section <laughs> right um tell us what you learned if you don't want to say so publicly you can always message us yeah head us a dm on our social media mm -hmm. cozy and gabby on facebook yeah. and instagram and you can definitely motivate somebody in the comment section um, anything you say could be a motivation to somebody, you never know. You never know. You know, so thank you so much for watching our video. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and, and turn on your post notifications so you know yes. when, 
whenever we post because mm -hmm. we have some good stuff coming out. Lots of good stuff. Um, so <laughs> turn on your notification and we will see you in our next video. Bye.